Hey guys, welcome and to some of you welcome back. This is the second video for the Mirage F1CE, kind of a three-part video that I'm making. The first one was basics. I took it to the lower end of the envelope. Combat is the opposite of what I did last time. Basically, it's going to be all the upper side, the higher end of the envelope. One thing I want to mention for this video, this is not about beating. This is about actually testing the, the Mirage F1CE. And to test the Mirage F1CE, I'm flying it against the MiG-19 AI. Now, one thing to mention about MiG-19 AI Ace Level is that it's powerful. You can do two circle, you can do a one circle, you can do vertical game, you can do rolling scissors, and you can do flat scissors. So the way to think of the MiG-19 AI is as your study guide. So it will do everything you need to get your feedback from it. Having said that, let's go into the F1CE here. Let's talk about how we're going to fight with this one. There's several things to remember about the Mirage F1. One, you want to do a two-circle fight. That's your safe fight. Uh, that's your neutral fight. That's what you're looking for an advantage against the other guy. Um, if your two-circle fight is not working, you can either bug out. That's a good thing about the F1 is it's pretty fast. You can keep that speed up and bug out. Or two, you can start getting more aggressive. It's a, it's a very zoom and boom-like kind of fighting. So you got your two-circle fight and then you got your zoom and boom. One more thing to mention here is I will show some scissors. I will show some flat scissors. This is something that the actual Mirage F1 can perform. And once I got the hang of it, this Mirage F1 actually performed great. You'll see that in a second. And then the last thing I want to mention is something we have to mention in, in, in this F1 is engine maintenance. Um, because th this engine is a little bit more sensitive. You, you get it into certain conditions and you can flame it out or have it surge on you. Let's get into this fight. First, we're finding MiG-19. Uh, we're coming pretty fast. And we're just going to go vertical. Now, my whole thing here is maintaining the airspeed. So if you look at my Gs, it's 4.5 Gs. That's perfect. We're going up. We're focusing on that light G pool, if you want to call it. There's a MiG-19. He's kind of down there. He initially did an oblique, and now he's trying to catch up and come to us. But we're already up here. But look, we're up here, and it's, we had over 300 knots at the top of the arc. We maintained our, our airspeed here pretty good. So that's why we only did 4.5 G-pool. Be careful if the guy, other guys have missiles because they can fire them and they can get you on top. So be ready to flare and pre-flare if you're going to do that with a missile fight. Now, we're going to get into a two-circle fight here. Put the nose down. We're still under our ideal speed, which is about 430 is what we want to be. But the MiG-19, even though it looks like he's beating us, uh, uh, he's actually slow. So we're already at 400 knots, and we're going to turn on him. Just, just, just maintain that angle of attack. That's where you got that angle of attack indicator right there. Just keep it in the green and yellow, and you'll maintain it, and that's a stain turn at about 430 knots. Uh, whatever you do, there's a few things to remember is you want to stay fast in this mirage. Don't lose airspeed. Uh, you can lose airspeed as long as you've got enough altitude to bail yourself out of it. But look, we're already beating him in this two-circle fight. The F1 is better at it, uh, especially if we come up from the above like we did and have that energy ready for us. Now, um, as, as soon as he starts doing reverses or starts vertical, you know he's losing. So in this case, he's doing a reverse, um, and we're going to try to follow him to stay above him. We're not going to get into a reversal fight with him. We're going to go behind him. But once it gets inconvenient, whether it's vertical or whether he's doing reverses, uh, one circle turns, we can either bug out or we can switch our tactics. Now our tactics are going to be more aggressive and more aggressive tactics means zoom and boom in this case. So this is what we're going to do. Well, look, uh, okay, we're not going to turn with him. We're going to pull a bit harder and as soon as we pass him, don't follow him. Yet put that nose down and pick up the speed. That's the engine there. That's the engine. That's zero G's. The engine warning if you do it for a second doesn't matter now as soon as you got the airspeed turn around and do do a hard pull a hard pull this is not a sustained turn this is a hard pull this is 15 16 degrees AOA as we pass him by hopefully we'll get a we'll get a snapshot straighten out straighten out get that nose down and do it again. So right now what we're doing is zooming and we're booming. This is more aggressive 
First, we give ourselves distance from the guy, then we do a hard turn, and we do a head-on. Mirage F1, it's got a very small profile, so it's very hard to hit head-on, so you got an advantage there. And then as we pass him, we're gonna keep doing this. Now, eventually, if you're doing this, the other guy, if it's a player, is either gonna get frustrated or make a mistake. And eventually, even the AI makes a mistake. So, uh, let's move this a little bit forward here. Now, for a lot of these chances, I'm, this is a gunfight, but, uh, you know, I'm actually getting behind this guy, and I'm getting a missile opportunity in a lot of these cases. So, uh, just because I'm not getting that close to him, because the MiG-19 is fast, uh, that doesn't mean that these tactics are not working. They are working fine. It's just they may not be working for guns until he makes a mistake. Once he makes a mistake, we'll get him with guns. Now, for this case you just saw, he actually went for a one circle, but I reversed. I came back to a two circle again. Reason being, of course, F1 is better in a two circle, and that's what we want to do. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to get a shot here. Okay, let's move this forward again. Uh, what's happening now, I actually ended up doing this and I ended up being too low. So, in one of these cases, what I need to do is when I speed up, I'm actually going to go vertical and I'm going to gain that altitude back. Okay, one quick thing I want to mention here as we're going up, uh, gaining that altitude, is that the MiG-19 AI ace level, that's that's a powerful point. I mean, it's very hard to get, it's very hard to catch, so, you know, you should probably try it. Go ahead, go guns only, and then try to get him, and, and see how difficult it is to actually close on him. It's a good way to create that muscle memory for your plane uh, as, you're, as you're practicing with the MiG-19 AI, so go ahead, try it out. So, I went up to 10,000 feet. Okay, now roll it out. Now I got that 10,000 feet cushion and I'm able to speed up. So I actually used one of the zooms to get myself up. Now we're back in the fight again. Again, this has to be planned out ahead of time. Pick up that speed, pick up that speed, turn on him. Uh, we're just zooming and booming here, zooming and booming here. Okay, all right, now, he actually made a mistake right here. He's going to reverse on us, and right now, that's a bad thing for him. This is our opportunity right here. Okay, so, okay, got him. All right, so, as you saw, the safe tactics of a, of a two-circle fight where we were fast it worked, but he adjusted to us, and then we had to adjust. We either had to bug out, or we had to go more aggressive. And more aggressive is doing this. Anything else, I don't recommend. Um, you, if you're going to take a chance, take a chance, but make sure you're high enough so you have enough altitude to recover. One more thing I want to cover here is the uh, horizontal scissors, and uh, in this case, the MiG-19 did get behind me, and I got it down to 150 knots. This is no flaps. We do actually have combat flaps you can use, but I didn't use them here, and uh, stick is neutral. This is neutral, but you can, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling it side to side with rudders only. Eventually, we're slower than him. We're flying better than him. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna power up and try to get out of it. We're gonna try to get a snapshot here. As soon as he does that, I'm gonna try to put it in, in the afterburner and, and catch him. But MiG-19 has a better acceleration, so uh, even though I planned it ahead, he's kind of pulling away. But the tactics are sound. Now, I am doing these scissors without the combat flaps. F1 has the combat flaps, so we can bring it down to about 140 and stable. Uh, without combat flaps, I'm bringing it down to about 150 minimum, and it's barely stable. And the reason I'm doing it without the combat flaps is because I want to train this way, and then when you do it for real, you have the combat flaps down, everything seems a lot easier. Remember, this is, this is rudders only. If you use those ailerons, you're going to stall the wing. As he loses it and he needs to power up, we can power up too and, and get a snapshot here. Unfortunately, this snapshot didn't get him, but it bought us time and got him off of our tail. So the F1 performance in combat, the lower end, the horizontal or flat scissors, it's right on the mark. It's exactly as, as advertised in a real airplane. The last thing I want to mention on, on the combat training is some engine maintenance. You kind of saw earlier, uh, if you go into negative Gs, it will give you a warning. 
uh, that the engine is about to shut off but if you go positive immediately it recovers on its own now if you do a, a hard pull and the airflow to the engine is interrupted uh, what's going to happen is the engine is going to start surging and as soon as it starts surging as, as soon as you hear that boom 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 idle you have to go idle and you have to go nose down uh, um, you have to go nose down to get 300 knots minimum uh, get that airflow going if you do this on time the engine will recover eventually the surging will stop it will take a few seconds and then you can slowly power back up and, and resume your flight you know if you leave it on for too long before uh, without idling it will actually break the engine the engine will eventually flame out and, and you'll be done but that is the procedure so there is some engine maintenance but as long as you're flying it within those parameters you should be okay so anyway remember stay above 10,000 feet stay fast above 400 knots don't do a one circle and you know what you can always bug out this is a fast plane if something doesn't look good you bug out thanks for watching guys I hope you like these videos I hope you like these series take care stand by for the next video and I'll see you guys soon